tell me, what happens if you were to buy a girl a flight? Do you call your mum and say, yo, book this girl a flight? Oh, yes, I would. Or would you get the girl and your mum to consult each other, or would you no, remain I'd middle be, man? No, I'd be the middle man. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> you have some other card as well that there were some mysterious charges on that you had to get. <laughs> oh, that does not get talked about on here. <laughs> I'm not talking about what it was. It's controversial. Having that guy around is the, the best thing that ever happened to the squad. If you have the right mix of autism and steroids, all these pundits and whatnot, a lot of people doubting me, you know. I don't want to fucking have a conversation while I'm sharing, you know, like, the hobby I do is already so gay. You are now listening to the El Segundo Podcast with Craig Jones. We are here with Nikki Ryan because my co-host Freddie is actually getting married. You know that? No, I did not. He's marrying his girlfriend. No, uh, I wouldn't be surprised. Do you believe me or you don't believe me? No, I don't believe you. 100%. He arrives back tomorrow. No, he arrives back tonight. Tomorrow he goes and gets a marriage license. On Tuesday, he's getting married. Are you serious? I don't believe you. I, I, I think you you're serious. fucking with me. I'm 100% serious. <laughs> no, I don't know. <laughs> I can't trust anything you say. <laughs> Listen, I promise. I promise on your brother's grave. <laughs> <laughs> oh, yeah. <laughs> no, you're seriously getting married, eh? I was, I'm as shocked as you are. <laughs> yeah, we'll see. I wanted to do a podcast with him on why he's getting married. But it is true. This is what's the best, because I lie about everything. Yeah. But then when I tell the truth, everyone goes, that can't be true. And yeah, I've known it. you for years now, and I still cannot tell when you're fucking with me <laughs> or when you're telling me the truth. <laughs> nah, I'm, I'm telling the truth. Freddie Freddie will be a married man as of, uh, well, I guess 2024. Yes. That's wild, eh? That would be crazy if it's true. You'll be the next one to get married. No, 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 no. Because what I'm envisioning is that you will be in Bali for New Year's Eve. <laughs> You'll spend a good four to five days down there. You'll fall in love. You'll find yourself a nice lady. <laughs> yeah. And then the marriage will come next. Listen, you're getting you're getting real close to convince me to come. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> yeah, love is what will convince you to come to Bali for sure. Um, <laughs> but yeah, I leave Friday. Freddie's getting married. There's a lot of things changing around here, you know? I know. Everybody's turning over a new leaf. Except for you, mate. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> next year. Next next year. 20, yeah, 2024. Uh, I see, I'm see. i serious, though. Freddie's getting married. I promise you. I'll ask him myself. <laughs> <I'll> <laughs> yeah, see. I can't commit to it. Let's just assume he's getting married. What do you think about that? I mean, he, he could do him, you know, if he wants to. I, th- I think he should have got married on the podcast. <laughs> oh my god that, been a that is option. a good idea that would have been a good option no but he's marrying an Australian lady so he'll be able to ultimately move down under one day yeah dude I still fucking I need to go out there it's like one of the only other places I really want to visit you need to go to Australia but you're telling me that what scares you about the prospects of flying to Bali is the length of the of the journey dude yeah 26 hours of traveling is is fucking rough all right, so let me. Ju- I just want to go through this because, like, when you sit on an airplane, you know what you do? You watch, you just sit down, and watch TV, and get fed food. Food gets brought to you, and that's basically what your day is at home, anyway. You know, yeah. you sit on the couch, you order Uber Eats, you put on some romantic comedies. You know? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. I play video games. I don't watch TV, <laughs> and I can't I be playing. What? I thought you quit the video games. No, I recently, once I got injured, I was like, all right, I'm gonna start fucking playing again. I needed something to do. You back, see so you back on the video games, you back addicted. Yeah, and especially me and Jay, Jay Rogers got me into a new video game. We are up until like 2 in the morning playing last night. Wait a minute, Jay Rod also told me he quit video games and he started reading books. Yeah, he relapsed without getting injured. At least I have an excuse. That, that's your excuse? Yes. So, I mean, so you're playing video games for 12 hours at a time. You could sit in a chair <laughs> yeah. for a good... 16 hours arrive in Bali. Dude, I just need something, like, to do. I can't just fucking sit there and do nothing. Can't be alone with your thoughts. Eh? Yes, exactly. <laughs> you could sleep. 
<laughs> for 26 hours? Done. No, I mean, right, so it's a double layover. So you go to San Francisco, and then you fly to Singapore, and then you fly to Bali. Okay. So it'll be three hours, then 16 hours, and then I think it's three hours again. Okay. That's not that bad. Listen, you're you're getting very very close to convincing <laughs> me to come. I'm gonna we're gonna look at flights today. I'm only doing this because I'm thinking of your athletic career. Ah, yes, yeah, so this is important for it, huh? And I know you're injured, and I'd rather you party when you're injured. That is that is a good point. If there's any time to go, it is now. Because I mean, sometimes you'll be in camp, you'll be you'll be fully healthy, you'll be like, oh, you get the itch, mate. You know? Nah, I've never done that. <laughs> <laughs> Sometimes you get an itch, you need a scratch, you know? <sighs> yeah. Like right now. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> nah, um, yeah, all right. So we've pen- penciled you in for Bali. Yeah, it's a small journey. But why do you want to go to Australia? Australia? I mean, it just fucking, it looks sick. Like the nature out there looks fucking sick. The beaches, everything. You're a big nature guy. When I travel. <laughs> <laughs> you <don't. laughs> Every now and then, you know. I'm going traveling, I wanna see some stuff. All right, let's let's get let's get into the travel thing. <laughs> what are your top five places you wanna go? Oh, fuck, I don't have five places I wanna go. <laughs> it was Japan and Australia. And now that I've gone to Japan, it's just Australia. I really don't have any desire to go and Bali. <laughs> those are those are the two. <laughs> what is pulling you what what draws you to Bali? The party. <laughs> That's it. I don't give a shit about the nature in Bali. <laughs> Uh, that's, I mean, yeah, obviously growing up in Jersey would make you appreciate nature. <laughs> it would, it would. It's just woods out there. That's about it. <laughs> so when you, so I'm, envi- so I'm envisioning you in Australia thinking about the nature and just doing long beach walks, you know? <laughs> yeah. I'll be on the beach. I do miss the beach. I haven't been to a beach in a long time now. What do you like doing on the beach? Sandcastles? Sandcastles, <laughs> digging holes, going in the water. Mate, you would get injured digging a hole. <laughs> Fuck, I would. <laughs> <laughs> That's a tall order. All right, so now forget forget about Bali, forget about Australia. We've locked you in. When this comes out, you will already be in Bali. That's the best part about this right now. Look at the look at him <laughs> hesitating. Look at him hesitating in the camera. But by the time this gets edited and released, he will actually be on the plane. And he doesn't even know it yet. As we speak right now. You're probably right, to be honest. <laughs> I'm going to look at these flights today and give a give it a little uh, little think. Yeah. So, all right. So, I mean, when this again, when this comes out, he'll probably be in Bali, arriving in a villa, getting a bit of training in at Bali MMA, yes. probably stealing some sunglasses. Dude, I do need some of these fucking sunglasses. He brought back, like, a whole case the last time you came, and there were some fucking sick ones in yeah, there. Yeah, now I'm in possession of many sunglasses, yeah, such as you these. should fucking give me a pair. Listen, mate, you don't get to enjoy these sunglasses unless you head over to Bali. If I said, if I called up Mitch and I said, Nicky he wants some sunglasses, but he doesn't want to come to Bali, what's he going to say? He's going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> He's definitely going to say no. <laughs> <laughs> so now's your opportunity to fly over there. We will train as well. We do, we do train. Look yeah. at me. I came back. I came back <laughs> beat everyone up, you know? I yeah, I, you're... A uh, fucking an anomaly, okay? <laughs> I do that and I come back and J-Rod's going to be beating the shit out of me. <laughs> Watch. I came back and uh, I'm not afraid to say it, but I submitted Nicky Rider. Now, like, he thinks I don't roll with him much now. If I submit the man, that could be our last roll. Yeah, that's it. It's done, for <laughs> sure. Forever. <laughs> You've retired from hard competition and now you can retire from... <laughs> yeah, that's my retirement match in the gym, eh? <laughs> yes. <laughs> I came back 194 pounds. That's haven't, crazy. Man. Haven't slept for fucking three weeks, and we just we get him one. You know, we move along. I don't know. I don't get how you do it. It's We're doing reps, mate. We're doing mental reps. Oh, We're, I'm sure you're fucking studying while you're out in <laughs> Bali, motherfucker. I'm fucking just noting down <laughs> high level techniques. <coughs> but you're injured right now. Every day you point to a different ankle for a reason. <laughs> yeah, train, okay. Eh? No, it's my left ankle. It's been my left ankle for the past three weeks, okay? You look down there, you see two cankles, and you go, fuck, I do have hurt? natural cankles, unfortunately, but the left one is way worse than the right. This was another part of the resistance to your travel, was you literally, you, I quote, 
My ankle will be so big if I sit down on that flat for that long. Dude, it will be. Watch. When I flew back from Vegas right after it happened, my ankle was so fucking fat. You sound like my grandmother talking about deep vein thrombosis on a plane. Right? <laughs> yeah. If I can put that thing in a big sock, mate, you'll be okay. I do, fuck, I do need to start wearing, like, compression socks when I travel because every single time I fly, even if it's a fucking three-hour flight, my ankles are going to blow up. I could see you being that guy on the plane with some big, long, tight compression socks. <laughs> I fucking, tr- trust me, I need them. <laughs> yeah, it would be a good choice for you, right? <laughs> yeah. New fucking fashion style. All right, so that's all we need. We'll head to CVS after this and we'll pick you up some long socks. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> if I do go to Bali, I am going to buy compression socks. <laughs> what else do you need on the plane? A stuffed animal? A pillow? <laughs> no, no, no. None of that. <laughs> <laughs> do some journal entries? <laughs> yeah, that's J-Rod, okay? He does journal. He does. That's real. It's crazy because he journals and I didn't even know he knew how to write. <laughs> yeah, or read. I don't know what's in there. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> that is a problem if he does journal entries, but he can't go back and read them. Dude, he definitely writes in his journal with fucking crayons. Just. <laughs> yes. Just pictures. He puts pictures in there. <laughs> but when you, when will you be back to full training? Back to full training? Um, I don't know. I'm going to get some stem cells shot into it, and uh, hopefully, hopefully that helps. Right now, I'm still limited to, like, just... Uh, back defense rounds, and I can do, like, open rounds with people that I know will flow and stuff, but definitely not full clip training for, like, at least another few weeks. Because I wish I could say I was surprised, but it seems like every time I come back, something's injured, and then when I leave again, it's miraculously healed. It's crazy. Yeah. <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it, trust me, it stays injured for a long time, okay? <laughs> you got to get on my mobility routine. And fuck off. You do not do <laughs> any mobility training. I, I wake up at 5 a.m. every day. I believe you wake up at 5 a.m. I don't believe that you go and fucking stretch for two I hours. I go out into the sun. I start thinking of things... To be uh, to show some gratitude, you know, <laughs> some gratitude. I begin my morning routine of yoga exercises and deep breathing. <laughs> Do not believe that. I look directly into the sun, <laughs> yeah. and I loosen my hips up. You know. <laughs> I you do not stretch at all. How do you think I've achieved such mobility? You're not. You have flexible ankles. That's about it. Everything's flexible, man. Yeah, flexible ankles and flexible hips. That's about. That's it. Your sh- I mean, shoulder mobility. Nothing. That is true. I did see you today. Nikki Rudd was like wrenching on you from back control, and you had an arch <laughs> that could rival some strippers I know. You know? <laughs> yeah, it's listen, all the fucking deadlifts and squats you got to arch the back. All right. When was the last time you did a deadlift? Fucking what's today? I did it. What was it last Saturday? I and what about the time before that? <laughs> the time before that was a very long time. <laughs> over a year? Uh, yeah, I haven't lifted in over a year. <laughs> I like that routine. Uh, you do one set of deadlifts every year. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, I was lifting before ADCC, and then I started to get too big. So I just cut out lifting, and I have not lifted from, like, probably two months before ADCC. So ADCC was... <laughs> <laughs> a long time ago that was september 2022 yeah oh wait no i did go on a little phase of lifting with jb after actually but we didn't do deadlifts how long did that last that lasted like two months that was when i was doing rehab and shit rehab yeah you i mean you need physical and emotional rehab really you're not wrong <laughs> <laughs> but i mean you're injured you can't train eh? you're doing back control rounds sometimes i think about but if I had an injury like that and I could only do back control rounds, I just wouldn't train. That's just the time. Oh, it around. goes through. This is the debate I have with myself every morning when I wake up. I'm like, am I going to go in and have fucking Nicky Rod and J-Rod just viciously fucking <laughs> <laughs> punch me across the face from the back? You know where they wouldn't do that? <laughs> where? In Bali. <laughs> that is true. It would be a nice little break from that. <laughs> I'm trying to get him to buy the ticket on the podcast. Day. Oh, no, you know I don't buy my flights. Yeah, well, uh, yeah if you would call... I, I would message my mom. I would just send her the flights, and then she would book it. So that's because what you use her credit card? No, I use. She uses my credit card to book the flights. But but what? what well, what's the? She's like my assistant. I take care of her, <laughs> and then she helps me out. All right. So, so what part of the flight booking process do you need help with? Because obviously, you've gone all the way through to find the flight you want. <laughs> yeah. Your mom. Well, just... no, that's the thing is, I have people send me flights, and then I just <laughs> forward the message to my mom, and then she books it. 
and she books it on your credit card. Yes. And then you pay off your own credit card. Yes. Because there were, you have some other card as well that there were some mysterious charges on that you had to uh, get. <laughs> oh, I don't know. That does not get talked about on here. <laughs> I'm not talking about what it was. I'm okay. Just yes, you're, you are right. You are right. <laughs> <laughs> is that, that's another card of yours. That is. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. I have, yeah, a debit card and a credit card. But your mom sees that card transactions. My mom, yeah. My mom knows I'm fucking terrible at this shit. So she will always pay off my, uh, my credit card. That way, I don't ruin my own credit. <laughs> but the you would ruin your credit not because you don't have money, but just because you'd forget to pay. The oh bills. yes, absolutely. Yeah, I leave my mom. I wouldn't even have a credit card had it not been for my mom. I did zero work to actually get my credit card. My mom did it all for me. <laughs> what else? What other tasks does she help you with? Because sometimes we need you to do stuff for the business, but you're like, oh, I can't do it till my mom's in town, eh? She, uh, yeah, she, she does a lot for me. <laughs> like, uh, recently we just got the title of my car, um, uh, changed into my name and, uh, there's like a, a sales tax you had to pay on it. And I guess the lady that was there, well, the lady that was helping us when we were there fucked it up. So we needed to pay it more. So now it's been like a few months and I had, I never check my mail. I never do any of that shit. So well, every time my mom comes, she just takes this huge pile of mail back with her to Florida to go through everything to make sure that like, yeah, I'm not fucking anything up. So she was going through the mail, found out that I needed to pay another like a grand towards the, uh, the sales fucking tax. So she ended up paying that for me as well. So every now and then your mom visits, collects your physical mail. Yeah. Flies back with it to Florida, sits there, opens it letter by letter and sees what kind of trouble you've gotten yourself into. Yeah, dude, I've she when she last time she was here, uh and she stayed at my house which was like months ago. She uh she used my car once and went through a toll road and I didn't have my fucking tag set up yet. So I've owed money on this toll for now probably seven or eight months it's just been fucking going up how much is it now i have no idea my mom's gonna figure it out and pay it for me though <laughs> so you yeah, i mean you rarely check your phone you obviously you don't check your emails i check my emails from time to time you don't check the mailbox definitely yeah i don't i don't yeah i have like i don't know if i've ever once actually gone through my mail <laughs> have you ever opened a letter Yes. <laughs> At least once. <laughs> so what would happen if you need to update your passport, your driver's license? Those are mom duties, eh? Oh, yeah. When my mom came to town, we got my Texas driver's license and we got my passport done. <laughs> Otherwise, it would just it would never get done. I had an expired passport for like fucking two years. And she helped you with that? And yes, she set everything up. Does she suggest this, or do you say, hey, this is, listen, do you, do you go? Oh, no, she has to be the one to tell me, like, <laughs> hey, we need to go do this, yeah. <laughs> this is the dream. Obviously, there's going to be many, many women watching this podcast thinking, that right there, that's the dream man. <laughs> yeah. That's a man's life I want to come into and just fill the void. <laughs> yes, to replace my mom. <laughs> <laughs> do everything, hey. <laughs> do everything, yes. And then when it comes time for you to break up with her, you're going to be like, listen, mom, we need to get you on the phone. We've got, you got some calls to make. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Well, listen, I take care of her. I help her pay the bills, so I think that's an even trade. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it is. It's your mom's your assistant. It's good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, that's what she's, yeah. She should negotiate your matches for you as well, eh? No, I don't think she'd do very good at that. <laughs> <laughs> you got nothing booked that way. No, yeah. Well, uh, well, I can't really talk about the. Yeah, nothing booked. They didn't booked announce it. anything like that, did they? No, yeah, they told me not to say anything until uh, <clears throat> after they. We just leap it out. <laughs> yes. Um, so, yeah, nothing booked right now. Another reason. To go to Bali. <laughs> <laughs> I just want to bring you to Bali so you can get life in prison over there and then I can leave. Uh, <laughs> oh, my God. And have your mom calling for lawyers. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No. If there was a time to go, it would be now. I'm injured, can't compete, so yeah, what not you a bad do? time to party. What are you going to do? Stay here and sit on your couch, you know? Yeah. The, literally, I'm not lying. The only reason I'm debating on not going to Bali is because I just found this new video game. <laughs> and what I want to fucking play it. What's the video game? It's called The Finals. It's a new game. 
What about what is it though? What's it about the finals? Yeah, so it's like teams of three. So I last night was the first time I played it. I played with, with uh, J Dog and J Rod, and uh, it's like there's three, yeah, three teams of three, and then uh, it's like a first person shooter. You have to like there's like a vault as soon as you you like spawn into the game. You have to go to the vault, open it. Once it's opened, it drops cash, and then you have to bring the cash to, like, another spot. You have to put it in, and then you have to defend it while it goes all the way through while other teams are trying to kill you and steal it. it I mean, it sounds like your mom paying your bills. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> your mom's been playing this game for years, man. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> but, yeah, that's literally, like, the only... Well, not the only, but one of the reasons why I'm still on the fence. <laughs> If you could play this game on the journey there, it would be a no-brainer. I'd be, it'd be a hundred. Per- I'd buy the flight right now. Well, I have my mom buy the flight right now. <laughs> Listen, mom, <laughs> buy this goddamn. Flight. Yeah, pretty much. Like I gotta have, I gotta have a talk to J Rock because he he told me he was fucking. He quit the video games. He's reading books, and he had no reason to do this. <clears throat> that is true. Yeah, he he did have a uh, a relapse. When did this happen? Fuck, I don't know. Oh. I feel like it's been like maybe two weeks now. Minecraft is what got him. Got <laughs> Minecraft. Minecraft, yes, <laughs> that's what got him back on the video games. <laughs> Fuck, he gets so angry training with me. <laughs> Why? I angry? think everybody gets so angry <laughs> training with you, dude. The Americana from the fucking Yoko is just I. Brother, I'd kill myself when I got <laughs> home if that happened. Well, he did get injured. <laughs> yeah. well, that's innovation, mate. That's innovation. <laughs> that is not innovation. That's <laughs> bullshit is what it is. <laughs> Imagine if I injured you with that. Oh, I'd, I'd, I'd fucking put a gun to my mouth. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's an embarrassing submission, eh? That's the be- I feel like the less I train, the better I am. I feel like I, if I train every day, I'm not very the, good. The crazy thing is I agree with you, <laughs> and I think it's complete bullshit. I train every fucking day. And then you come back off of fucking partying and then still somehow fuck me up. Yeah, but I think that's just because of, like, obviously, first of all, I'm a better athlete. Second of all, more intelligent. Third of all, (laughs) better looking. (laughs) You have youth on your side. That's it, man. (laughs) I don't even fucking have youth. I get injured more than you, all right? (laughs) That's true. Again, like, uh, I circle back. You got to get into my mobility routine. (laughs) Yeah. (laughs) All right. You you fucking send me a message on what it is, and we'll see if it works, all right? (laughs) Yeah, it's, you got to be limber. You got to be loose, mate. It's a little yeah. thing called technique, you know. Yeah, I stretch every now and then. We, I'm literally going to call Jay right after this and be like, "Listen, motherfucker, you've lied to me. <laughs> yeah. You weren't playing video games." No, he's back on. We were up till at least one a.m. last night playing. Playing video games. Yeah, dude, I probably played video games for close to ten hours yesterday. <laughs> 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 I got on from when I got home from training. And then was on until one in the morning. What's the most? So that's your. I mean, you used to play ten hours a day every day, right? Oh, bro! In COVID, it'd be even more. During, like what? During COVID, bro, I'd be playing like fourteen hours a day. So you're you're pounding zins. Well, back in COVID, I wasn't on the zins yet, but now, a- yeah, now I'm on the zins. Yeah, pounding zins and playing video games. <laughs> You're an athlete, mate. Hey, I mean, hey, it was after training. We we still, still showed got, up, did the work, you know. You still got in rounds, eh? I can't get into zins because I'm addicted to enough things, you know. I don't. Yeah, even I do have a very addictive personality. But I mean, hey, be addicted to zins or be 210 pounds. Which one's healthier, <laughs> you know? I mean, that's true. That is true. Or you could just train. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I don't know. I'd get fat. If I fucking stop doing zins, especially while I'm injured. That's true. I that's take, true. you know, a few you days work. off every now and then from zins. Listen, mate, you don't need the zins. You go on a long bender. You don't eat for days, mate. That is true. Fuck. <clears throat> if there's other drugs involved, I do not need zins. <laughs> <laughs> you go to Bali, come back 10 pounds lighter, mate. I, I, trust me, I know I would. <laughs> <laughs> and then you lose another five pounds here crying during the come down. Mate. Yeah. Yep. You're not wrong. <laughs> yeah, that's what I, I don't think you're scared of the fight. I don't think you're scared of the video games. I think you're scared of a come down. Nah, I'll be all right. We'll be able to handle a come down. You just got to leave certain drugs. You got to limit them. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, that's 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 very true. Um, so you're back addicted to video games, faking injuries, faking <laughs> injuries. I'm out of here. I leave Friday until February nineteenth. That's insane. I don't know how you travel as much as you do. Oh, mate, it's easy. 
<laughs> yeah. <laughs> you just get on a plane and sit down for a bit, you know? Dude, I lose my mind not having a routine. My routine is not having a routine, though, you know? That is true. Fuck, at this point, you're going for fucking seven months of the year. <laughs> <laughs> but, like, I'm still getting better, you know? Yeah, that would not... If I was on your fucking... <laughs> your schedule, I would be terrible. I'll tell you what, you wouldn't be. You wouldn't be injured. That is true. I wouldn't be training. <laughs> <laughs> no, I trained a few times in December. <laughs> a few times in December, exactly. I mean, I, like, I was here Christmas Eve... Doing rounds. I was here Christmas Day submitting Nicky Rod. I was here. I fucking did deadlifts on my broken ankle and it made it swell up. So I decided to rest. Why would you do that? <laughs> <laughs> it felt all right. I didn't do squats. I was like, squats requires too much ankle mobility. I was like, I could still do deadlifts. I did deadlifts and then just a, like a gymnastics workout and then it, it swelled back. Gymnastics up. workout. Yeah. Sounds pretty fabulous. Run us through that routine, eh? It's not much. It's really just it's just body weight you exercises. You love doing that thing with your legs together, right? Pointing your toes. Yeah, swing. toes to bar. That's yeah. a good exercise, all right? <laughs> Especially for shih tzu, You okay? got the back arch like a stripper. You got the fucking toes to bar, man. Yeah, so now, like, all I do when I lift is I do... I'm literally just doing deadlifts right now. I'll do it, like, three to four times a week. I'll do deadlifts, do four sets of those, and then I'll do... Like a little like circuit thing where I go um, toes to bar, L sit pull ups, dips, push ups, and muscle ups. But this has just started as of. I've done this one time. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> You're talking about it like it's your routine. <laughs> you did it one time and it hurt you so much you just didn't train the next day. Yeah, but we're going to do it again today. <laughs> you doing it after this? Yes. I don't believe you, eh? It's I'll either be- that or play video games. Yeah, I know. Want- one or two. You're going home straight back to playing video games. I'm going to play video games, and then Ana closes at 8, so we'll get in there before 8. So you drive home and then back to Ana? Yeah. Ana's pretty close to my house. It's like 10 minutes. That's And that's the new lifting routine. That is. So I'm going to stick with that for now, see how that works out. Yeah, I reckon st- doing one set of deadlifts a year is probably a good... <laughs> well, I don't know. Three times a week is the plan, all right? Three times a week. Uh, yeah, you should lift because, like, I'll, when I come back in February, I'm still fucking you up, man. No, no, no. The I'm gonna be fucking athlete show its presence. Again. Watch, I'm gonna be fucking way stronger by the time you get back. Okay, <laughs> <laughs> dude, I hope I come back and still fuck everyone up, and then go. Yep, yeah, three days. That's mm-hmm. enough. I'm out of here. As long as my ankle's healed, when you come back in February, you are fucked. <laughs> okay, I don't believe it. I'm gonna be honest. We do it 8 a.m. noon. Lift three times a week. There's no chance, man. It's gonna happen. Watch. There's no chance. Eh? I tell you what, we make a deal right now. Either if you don't fuck me up in February, your your mum ain't paying your bills no more. You got to pay your own bills. No, no deal. I'll never risk that. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, my fucking credit score will plummet. <laughs> okay. <laughs> You hear that, ladies? He's got a good credit score. I do have a good credit score. What's it at? I haven't checked it. It's like, fuck, was it like 760 or some shit like that? Not bad, eh? Yeah. We could check it right now. <laughs> yeah, let's check the credit score. Oh, I don't have any service in here. Oh, no. Probably for the best. It's probably, you're probably lying. It's probably bad. It was either 760 or 780 the last time I checked. I can't remember. Except for your toll ticket. That's going to fuck it, man. Nah, that'll. My mom's got a handle, don't you worry. <laughs> All right. <laughs> my mom, last time she came, she had to tell Mariella, because I live with uh, her and Damien, she had to tell her to put the fucking toll tag in my car for me because she messaged me so many times and I didn't do it. <laughs> Literally, the last three messages for my mom, let's see. <laughs> it's going to be. We should cool her up right now. Yeah, she's like, uh, I transferred the the thousand dollars from your account uh, for the sales tax. You never answered me about if you have the title or not. Also, you never got me tax guys info. <laughs> is the last three messages I have from my mom. <laughs> so she's just hounding you to do stuff that you should have already done. Yes, absolutely. But it eventually we get it done. We paid our taxes last year. Gonna pay them again this year. Last year was your first run of taxes, right? Yes. <laughs> we got it done I remember I would tell you to pay your taxes And you'd be like Listen mate This other person I know He didn't pay his taxes for 10 years <laughs> Yeah that I'm is true I'm fine 
<laughs> well, listen, as soon as I started making like good money, I started paying my taxes. That's yeah, that's true. Have you have you done your taxes this year? No, but I'm gonna. <laughs> your mom's gonna. No, nah, no. Nah. I handled the taxes last year. We went to, to H&R. I really need to get a new tax guy. <laughs> <laughs> we went to H&R Block. <laughs> Me and Ethan went together, <laughs> and we both had the same guy. We got it done. Ethan's last name is Kalenstein, mate. He should know a good accountant. He should, fuck. We literally... He should be related to one. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I do need to get a new tax guy. My tax guy did my taxes and then has been traveling for the past... <laughs> since then, bro. Since what was it fucking... Was when is tax season? April? Yep. Yeah, since last April, he's been fucking gone. <laughs> he's been living good, mate. Yeah. He overcharged both of you, and now he's on vacation. <laughs> yeah. <it. laughs> Ethan pays taxes? He does. He does pay his taxes. He's I been like, paying them for a few years now, actually. I like that you guys both went together, like a double date to the accountant. Yeah, I was like, I'm too fucking retarded to do this by myself. I need somebody <laughs> else there with me that's so also did, retarded. You walked in and you said, I've never paid taxes. And how did he take that? He, he was just like, all right. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> that's fucking funny, eh? Your mom really is your assistant. She's your assistant, but she's your boss, too, because she's making orders, you know? Yeah, that's true. I don't always listen to them, but she does <laughs> order me, yeah. Tell me, what happens if you were to buy a gala flight? Do you call your mom and say, yo, book this gala flight? Oh, yes, I would. I would absolutely <laughs> send her the info of everything, and then she would book it, yes. Or would you get the girl and your mom to consult each other, or would you no, remain middleman? No, I'd be the middleman. <laughs> <laughs> Because <laughs> that day is coming <laughs> Yeah <laughs> Yeah I would I would 100% just send all the information to my mom And tell her to book it And she would do it And then she'd send it to you and you'd send it back to this girl Yes <laughs> so I guess not bad eh? It's not a bad gig Not a bad gig it's a, it's a good relationship Like I said I take care of her She what helps me What if your mom me. just quits one day You're fucked Oh, I'm, f- I'm very fucked, yeah. I'll just, I'll pay Damien to do it. <laughs> <laughs> Damien would do it. Yeah, I know, and I would pay him to do it. That would be a real thing. If my mom ever was like, fuck you, Nikki, I'm done doing this shit for you, I'm not doing it. I'm paying somebody to do it for me. <laughs> <laughs> That's fucking incredible. Some time's fucking valuable, all right? How am I supposed to play video games when I have all this other shit to do? Yeah, actually, last time we came on the podcast, we went through a day in the life. So yes. now you, your day in the life is you wake up 11, 11.30? <clears throat> For the past two days, I have woken up pretty fucking late <laughs> because of the video games. And then you come to training, you finish training, you go home. Go home, and then... Hit the video games. Hit the video games. <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's been my life for at least the past two days. When's the next instructional popping? Fuck, next time I fucking win a match. <laughs> so never. Yeah, fuck, at this rate. <laughs> 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 now nah, we'll get one back eventually. Yeah, I mean, listen, Naga's coming to town. I think yeah, possibilities are endless. Really. Yes, yes. <laughs> 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 Got to win something, eh? <laughs> hey, I never won anything. <laughs> that is true. Fuck. Um... No one's got anything booked, hey? Oh, Nicky Rhodes got... That's not announced yet, though, is it? No, yeah, it's not announced, but he does have a match booked. Ethan, nothing booked. Ethan, no, he does actually. Oh, the five on five of him. Oh, is he still in that? Where is that? Is that got, the one in Florida? I got no idea, right? Uh, well, he may have that, and he may also have another one because he was trying to convince me to go down to Florida at the end of January because he's got a match out there to compete as yeah. well. Uh, no, 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 just to like because uh, I've been saying I need to like go visit my mom in Florida and stuff. So he's like, oh, I'm going. Bring us some mail, <laughs> Yeah, pretty much. But, uh, so, yeah, he was trying to convince me to to go out there at the same time as him. I cannot wait till you fucking buy a house and bring your mom to the fucking. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah. I'm probably, I'm going to buy a house next year, and I'm absolutely going to fly my mom in to help me buy this house. <laughs> and do all the paperwork and everything. You're going to buy it, and Damien's going to live in it? No, no. He's also, he's going to buy his own house. I'll buy my house and then try and find people here to fucking rent to, the other rooms too. To, to live with, eh? Yes. You'll be, you'll be living with people and you'll be like, yo, mom, ask this guy to pay rent, eh? <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> it's not that bad, okay? <laughs> I can do the day-to-day stuff. The day-to-day. What is the day-to-day, though? 
video games. <laughs> <laughs> See, that's why you need to get away, mate. You need to pull yourself away from the console. <laughs> yeah, go to Bali. Well, I mean, obviously you play a lot of video games. If you didn't have that, what would you do apart from cry? <laughs> yeah. I go through phases. I'm always I always need to have some sort of hobby. I can't just fucking sit there and like watch TV for fucking hours. So it's either video games, chess, or ping pong. Those are the three that I rotate through. <laughs> you go through a lot of things you do a lot of things to avoid speaking to a woman, eh? <laughs> yeah, you're not wrong. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> You're like 12 hours of ping pong or say hello to a girl. <laughs> yeah. Ping pong it is. Uh, ping pong's a lot more fun, all right? <laughs> not in Thailand. No, we're actually in Thailand. You're right. <laughs> yeah. But here you're not. <laughs> you guys play fucking spike ball on the mat, say. Hey, spike that ball, shit. that's another thing that I've, uh, another hobby I've picked up. I'm getting fucking nasty at that shit. I smoke <laughs> you in fucking spike ball. <laughs> Are you kidding? <laughs> nope. I played it once, I crushed you. Uh, no, 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 no. You didn't crush me. You fucking. Crush those other losers, all right? Yeah, but you would get killed at. You're looking at a fucking multi-sport athlete, man. Nah, 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 dude. Me, me and Nicky Rod, or like me and Heisam, me and Tony versus you and anybody, we would absolutely win. Listen, Heisam's passionate about Spike, but he doesn't look very good, I'll tell you that. <laughs> he has his days. <laughs> <laughs> Who's the best Spike ball player in the gym? No, the best Spike ball player in the gym by far is Spencer. 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 That guy is good at... Every fucking sport. It's insane. Well, of the pros, who's the best? Of the pros? Because everyone said it wasn't you. That's not true. <laughs> uh, of I said the pros, who's the best? I would say it's between me and Nicky Rod. Because when I asked everyone, they said, uh, listen, we can't say he's the best. We can say he's not. Like, yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah. Me or Nicky Rod are the, I would say, the two up for debate. Who started this spike bull craze? I don't even know. We've had it in the gym, like, since we fucking opened. And then I forget who – I don't know who the first person to bring it out was. Probably Tony. Tony. Tony's better than you for sure. Tony? I don't think Tony's better than me. Can you play one-on-one spike ball? You can, yeah. It's just not as good. Yeah. Spencer has done 1v2s against, what was it, Tony and Sal and beaten them. I mean, Tony and Sal, you put him, put him on each other's shoulders. That's a real man, right? <laughs> yeah. Man, that's not a fair battle. That's a one versus one, in my opinion. <laughs> so spike ball cuts into your video game time. It it does, but it's good. It's some physical ankle rehab, you know? Get them moving around. I reckon that's how you really heard it. You rolled your ankle playing spike ball. <laughs> yeah, trust me. I wish that's how I heard it. <laughs> okay. <laughs> not fucking losing a match. <laughs> <laughs> UFC fight pass. Yeah, we spoke about that on The Simple Man, but that's not out yet, eh? That's what we should talk about. We gave Nicky Rod his black belt. Yes, yes, we did. <laughs> we were meaning to do it forever. We bought him a gun, and uh, we had that gun in the gym for, like, fucking well over a year, and then just never did it. And then, yeah, after his last match, you were like, all right, it's time. Well, I started getting worried. I was like, fuck, we better give this guy the gun. Nicky Ryan's just lost. I don't want him knowing. <laughs> yeah, where the gun is. Yeah. We have guns in the house, all right? <laughs> if I was going to do it, I would have done it. <laughs> <laughs> but, yeah, I mean, we're going to give him his black belt after, what, the Philippe Penner match? But he lost that one. Yeah. A close one. <clears throat> that, and we're going to give it to him after the EBI. That's right, that's right. And then I just don't... Oh, I think we had the black belt for the EBI, but we didn't have the gun. And then it took a long time to get the gun, and then we forgot about it. We were more committed to the joke of giving out a weapon. (laughs) Yes. Just because Danaher gives out knives. Then we were to actually promoting (laughs) Nikki. Yeah. Significantly more committed to the joke than the promotion. (laughs) Yep. And then when I pulled the gun out of his podcast, it was covered in my bull sweat. That I proceeded to wipe on you. Yeah, head. you motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> it had been in there a while too. I can be forty five minutes of yeah, I don't, of just bull sweat marinating in you're there. You're a fucking foul cra- human being. <laughs> the okay. crazy part was is you open your mouth. Hey, I was like, oh. <laughs> yeah, you fucking wish. All right, <laughs> <laughs> you were like, my mom's gonna hear about this. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Okay, he deserves his black belt though. No, yes, absolutely. He's been even though I don't roll them fucking ever. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm too old. I haven't rolled. Yeah, the only the only reason I started rolling with him is be ironically is because I got injured. <laughs> I was like, he can attack my back and not injure me. 
But he did give me a black eye, and I was spitting up a little bit of blood today. <laughs> <laughs> did he submit you? He did submit me today. I think, I think I got out three times. He submitted me twice. Did you start on his back? Or you can only do defense. I can only do defense. Yeah. <laughs> what a miserable fucking existence that is. Oh, bro, that. it's brutal. <laughs> Every day, it's just been ten minutes of fucking J Rod attacking my back, and then ten minutes of Nicky Rod attacking my back. It has not been fun. Yeah, I would just not train. Dude, it. Jay had me in a fully locked rear naked for over two minutes and could not finish it, and then I got out. I just wanted the world to know that. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, if you got injured at training and you had to make an appointment for physical therapy, would you call your mom to book it? <clears throat> no, I do that stuff. I, I do, but like, book my own MRIs and shit like that. Although the last time Seth got me an MRI prescription, I never did get an MRI. <laughs> but uh, <laughs> I have booked MRI appointments for myself. Doctor appointments. I booked stem cells for myself. But that's people telling you, hey, book stem cells, right? That was Seth in my ear being like, go get fucking stem cells, you retard. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I've never done stem cells. Hey, people love it, though. Yeah, I've done it. I've done it uh, twice. I got it after the meniscus repair, and then the nine months post-op, the repair failed. I got it taken out, and then I did another round of stem cells. I for sure thought, knowing your thirst for Chinese food in Mexico that you would definitely get stem cells in Tijuana. Tijuana's traveling. See, in Austin, I don't have to fucking fly anywhere. <laughs> and I'm also sponsored by a stem cell company, so that They helps. do do it here, but the good, the real crazy shit's illegal here, right? Like, uh, you can... Look, what's the deal with that? Do you know anything about that? Dude, I have, like, no idea. I, I know, what, like, what you're talking about, but, yeah, I have, like... I don't, to be honest, I know jack shit about stem cells. I just have people tell me that they work really good and that I'm always fucking injured. So I'm like, fuck it. We'll never, try it. You never even threw a Google search up or anything? No. Nah, no, nah, none of that. <laughs> <laughs> you never even was like, a stem cells dangerous? No, nah, no. Nah, I, I trust the people telling me to get them. What's the deal? So you go to Waste a Well, they hit you with the stem cells. Do you have to rest afterwards? Uh, no, I think they're just, like, pretty much don't train that day, don't, like, uh, submerge it in water for, like, 24 hours or something like that. Well, I mean, you don't fucking bathe anyway, so that's no, fucking I bathe. Fun, I man. have very good hygiene, all right? <laughs> shower every morning, every night. Yeah, that's shower after you're training. Flapping one out, though, but what about the actual washing your body part? No, I wash myself. I have good hygiene. I don't know why, but I, I see you come to the gym in the mornings, and I think that man doesn't even know how to turn a shower on. <laughs> yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> Listen, I take care of myself. <laughs> oh man, hey. <laughs> yeah, you got to be careful. You got a twisted ankle. You might fucking roll it in the shower. Eh? You look Bro, like a bath guy, dude. The first, the first shower after I got back from Vegas, and this was, this was, I was up the entire night, zero sleep, just partying on <laughs> on my broken ankle, and then <laughs> I'm. Very depressed on this fucking flight home. I fly home and then I want to go get in the shower and I just cannot put any weight on my left leg. So it's just me sitting in the shower with my head down on the floor with fucking water pouring down me. It was it was rough. And then it took me about a good 15 minutes because there's a little ledge to get in my shower for me to get over the ledge and outside back to my room. <laughs> you need one of those like old person assist showers already. You know, <laughs> yeah, I need the fucking chair that goes in there. Fuck, you're lucky. Yeah, uh, you're lucky you're downstairs. Eh? I wish for a laugh you were actually upstairs. Oh, did I wouldn't. I'd be sleeping on the couch. Fucking. <laughs> <laughs> I know what you're thinking, motherfucker. Don't you dare. Don't you fucking dare. I know what's coming. Okay. Well, it's a comfortable couch. <laughs> yeah. uh, Many people would choose the game. <laughs> nope, that doesn't go in, motherfucker. <laughs> <laughs> we might sneak that in there. No, uh, no, 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 no. <laughs> <laughs> so you, you've been in a deep state of depression since you lost. Uh, there was a good week there of, uh, of a very rough come down combined with the fact that I was sick, could not walk, and just could not leave the house. <laughs> <laughs> we're back to normal now. We're good. <laughs> you got to the other side of it. Yes, we made it through. Yeah, Bobby, that's just because you were able to distract yourself with video games. That is true. See, video games saved my life. <laughs> 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 so, yeah, so be obviously a depressing end of the year. Yeah, 
wasn't wasn't the best year for me. <laughs> How many injuries this year? Twenty <clears> seven. <throat> Within the the past year, really only like what was it two major ones? Was my ACL fucking when was the last ADCC? About a year ago, twenty twenty two. Yeah, just <laughs> all right. Yeah, bit. yeah. So fully torn ACL and the shroyed ankle. Those two. Why is your body so weak? Trust me, I've been asking myself the same <laughs> fucking question, all right? <laughs> I start doing two sessions a day and just fucking knees blow up, fucking... You lift yeah. Kenta, your leg breaks. Uh, yes. Jonathan lifts you, your leg breaks. <laughs> yeah, breaks. I know, fuck. Yeah, like, the footage of me with Kenta, it doesn't even look bad. You and at the, the ground, time... Man. What? You belong firmly on the ground. I really fucking do. I really need to stop fucking wrestling, bro. That's what it is. <laughs> Just sit down, man. Yes, I know. I fucking pulled guard all the trials. No injuries. Didn't win, but... <laughs> <laughs> no, you didn't get injured. <laughs> didn't get injured, and we got second, so... <clears throat> but yeah, the, the footage of yeah, Kenta with my ACL tearing doesn't look like anything. It happened. It hurt... Pretty badly for, like, maybe a minute or two. And then it felt completely fine. I was like, fuck, I feel like I keep rolling. And then the next day I couldn't walk. <laughs> so then you didn't get surgery or do rehab, eh? I did rehab for two months with JB. Months after I was already back training. <laughs> but, hey, it fucking it feels better than the no meniscus knee now. It does. It does. It it did. It was a little unstable after I injured my ankle, probably because I was, like, walking retarded, fucking compensating. But uh, now that I'm back to walking semi-normally, the ACL feels all right. You're telling me you're a better athlete than me, but you can't even walk. <laughs> I we said should I'm walk a, before we run, man. I'm a better athlete than you when I'm healthy. It's a very rare occasion, but <laughs> when I'm healthy, I'm absolutely a better athlete. I mean, you never be healthy again, man. <laughs> yeah, I mean, at this rate, it's <laughs> that's a possibility, okay? <laughs> but when I'm healthy, I'm absolutely more athletic than you. We went through this. I clearly win all the categories. I'm <laughs> yeah, more, okay. I'm more graceful. No, absolutely elegant. not more graceful. When you train, it's the most rigid shit I've ever seen. You know what doesn't break? <laughs> Your ankle. Rigid things. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Fuck yeah, that's fucking funny. We were meant to do a year in review podcast, but it was really just a psychological review on you. Yes. All the work my mom does for me. Dude, that is fascinating. You do have a quite a relationship with your mom in terms of she does everything for you, eh? Yeah, but we pay it back. We pay it back, you know. It's a, it's a good relationship. Did you watch the Quintet documentary? Uh, I skimmed through it. <laughs> did you watch your fatigue moments? I did see that part. I saw that part. I saw the bidet part. You were so angry about the. You're like, why is it in the trailer? Why is it in the trailer? Oh yeah, everybody. It's the fucking yeah. The trailer for it. Everybody looks fucking sick. And then the only clip of me is just me exhausted, like <laughs> blowing my nose. And I'm like, oh great, yeah, this is fucking awesome. <laughs> 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 well, I mean, that's a common thing. Eh? <laughs> no, it's not. Why ain't anybody else doing it in the trailer, huh? Because <laughs> <laughs> I didn't run out of energy. <laughs> yeah, Joseph did, okay. <laughs> you were more tired than Joseph. Maybe. Maybe. <laughs> <laughs> and also, you know what we'll finish up on? Do you admit now that you are the real professor? <laughs> Fuck off! I am not there. Listen, I don't post enough on my own Instagram for my own good. I literally refuse to take sponsorship deals because I don't want to fucking post. <laughs> so there's zero chance well, that I'm even. taking the time to run a fake account. <laughs> well, you don't even want to talk to um <laughs> the sponsors. You'd be like, "Hey, mom, fucking to a deal for <laughs> Yeah, dude, I really should get a fucking manager. She I need someone to over. just run my Instagram account. I reckon your mum should run your Instagram and reply to female messages on your <laughs> yeah. behalf too, like set up dates for you. <laughs> yeah. Like Dude, I never answer any of my DMs. Never? Never. How many women message you that you don't respond to? There's a decent amount of women that message me that I just never answer. <laughs> but why? I just, I hate, the bro, I don't message back my fucking closest friends. <laughs> 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 but what is the hurdle in uh, not replying to them? You don't like I them. just I hate messaging. Like, if I'm going to fucking talk to somebody, they have to be, like, I'll answer calls. 
but so I just cannot you. message me. <laughs> we'll put your number out on the air now. <laughs> <laughs> no, 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 no. <laughs> I got enough fucking crazy DMs and shit. I don't need people messaging me. Yeah, guys. Girls, if he actually responds to you at DM, you should know you're special. Eh? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it's a very rare occasion, yes. <laughs> Dude, you might be the only young man in the world that's got an Instagram blue tick that women message. And I just, don't even have a blue tick. Like, <laughs> no, I never got one, and I'm not paying for that shit. <laughs> you might be the only one with a good following that doesn't reply to women, doesn't utilize Instagram doesn't weaponize it like other men do. <laughs> yes, that's true. I just I'm too fucking lazy. I don't I don't answer anybody. <laughs> so if you've got a choice between pussy or doing nothing, <laughs> you take doing it's not nothing. doing nothing. It's spike ball, ping pong, chess, or video <laughs> games. All right, that was a pretty good second option. I wonder at what age where pussy will overtake chess for you. <laughs> <laughs> no, we like when I was younger was like my crazy phase, and now. Yeah, you when you were twelve, eh? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but now I'm just yeah, too okay. lazy to answer anybody. <laughs> You're retired from everything, eh? I know. Yep. You're not wrong. <laughs> You're like an old person in a fucking nursing home. No, eh? that's You're why like... my fucking age on Wikipedia is seventy seven. <laughs> everybody knows. I did that. I fucking wouldn't doubt that you did that, okay? <laughs> <laughs> nah, whoever did that knows you very well though, way. Eh? Yeah. It's but been like that for a while. You are like in a nursing home, mate, because it's like, what are you, you're like, what are we doing today? What activities? And they're like, oh, <laughs> yeah. fucking playing chess today. Playing <laughs> yeah. ping pong. Maybe some spike ball. That's like a nursing home. I get mate. injured. I have to have people take care of me. You're not wrong. A lot of crying in the shower. <laughs> yeah. Nah, none of that. The real professor thing was funny, though, because people accuse me of running the account. But, like, if there's anything I will do, it's I will take credit where I feel I deserve it. And that's <laughs> yes. where I get no... Like, if I run an anonymous account, like, what do I get out of it? I don't just want to attack people. I want people to know I attacked them. Yeah, I'm well, not going to lie. I I still think that you do run anonymous accounts. <laughs> <laughs> I, You know what? I don't even have access to the B-theme account. Yeah. I don't no. even know my own Instagram password. That's one thing that holds me back, eh? Because I'm worried, like, if I have multiple accounts, maybe it logs me out of this I one. I also do not know my own Instagram account. You know who does not? Your mom. No, she don't know. <laughs> <laughs> She's not getting access to that. Wait, I think let your mom at it. Let her reply to some of these women for you. <laughs> no, no. She let her set up some dates. She so. is absolutely not getting access to my Instagram account. <laughs> <laughs> Could we put you on a dating show? <laughs> like love on the spectrum. Da- yeah. yeah love, on the, <laughs> love on the spectrum. That, that would be good. That would hey. be a good one for me. <laughs> you could do that. You could do the one where they have Down syndrome. What's that one? <laughs> Love on the spectrum. <laughs> That's it. That's it? Yeah, yeah. It's just a bunch of, like, either. Like, Imagine if you failed at that. That'd be bad. <laughs> that'd be real bad. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, maybe we get you Love on the Spectrum, man. Eh? Yeah, it's Australians who run that show. We do appreciate a good joke at your expense. That's for sure. <laughs> yes. <laughs> no, nah, I mean. Nikki, guys, you, we'll finish with that, eh? All right. If you're a woman that's interested in him, he won't reply to you. The only woman he speaks to is his mom because she covers all his bills and expenses. <laughs> yeah. Organizes his life. We can't even commit him to come to Bali, but we'll make sure he buys that ticket later. There's a very good chance I'm going to go. Yeah, check his Instagram page when this drops out to see his current story location. <laughs> yes. I'm guessing it's going to be Bali. We will find out. We will find out. You'll be there. He'll be there on the twenty. No, on the thirty first. You will arrive. Yeah. If you are in Bali, you heard it here. You can't message him. You have to see him face to face and communicate with him as a woman. Yes. And he might speak back to you. <laughs> yeah. Alrighty. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck you, no way. That was a good one. That was a good one. Thank you for listening to the El Segundo Podcast. Don't forget, fuck cry Jones. <laughs>